Hey guys, Anthony here. I'm creating this tutorial on request from one of my subscribers. So this is a very short video I created using moving panels, as you can see. For the video in the background, it has three scenes all together. It is similar to a video I created using green screen moving panels, so hopefully you've watched the tutorial before. Also, I'm assuming you've already got some basic understanding of EVC 3.0. Essentially, what I did was I created a video in Explainedio using green panels like these. I applied the animations in EVC 3.0 available under animation presets. I then used the green screen feature in Explain Your Video Effects, a separate program, and put these videos in the background for each scene to achieve this effect. First, what you're going to need is a green screen panel like this, which I created in PowerPoint. I've created a bunch of these already, which you can download from my Google Drive. Check the link in the description section. Okay, so now I'm in Explainedio using version 3.030. And as you can see, I've got three scenes here. Let me open the canvas and then hide the timeline. As you can see, I've added six chevrons and a text box at the bottom. And if I open the timeline, you will notice that I've set up the chevrons and the text box in a step format. In doing so, they animate in a sequential format that is one after the other. Now, if I expand each of the elements on the timeline, you can see the animations I've applied. For the chevron shapes, I've applied the slide from left long preset animation. And for the text box, I've applied slide from right long text animation. And as I scroll down the timeline, you will see that I've applied the same preset animations that is slide from left long for the rest of the chevrons. For the last chevron, actually it's a triangle, I added a delay pause after action, and that's why you can see it has a longer gray bar. If I close the canvas and go to the effects tab, you will notice that there is a 2.5 second delay applied. Once you're happy with the animation for the green panels, use this button to create a video from scene. This will render an MP4 video of the scene. And then choose a folder. For video quality and export speed, I use excellent and stable settings. And finally, hit the Start Export button. Give it a file name and then hit Save. And you'll get a confirmation once the export has been completed. Next, follow the same process to create the second moving green screen video. As you will notice, it looks pretty much similar except that the chevrons are facing in the opposite direction, and the text, of course, is different as well. For the animation of the chevrons, I used slide from right long preset animation, and for the text, I used slide from left long text animation. So once you're happy with the scene, use this button here to create video from scene like I showed you earlier. So once you finish doing that, you should have two mp4 videos of the two scenes, like so. Next, we need to head over to explain your video effects for the green screen feature. If you don't have explained your video effects, you can try another application with green screen functionality. Click the open video button up top, and then navigate to the first green screen video we just saved, and then click open, then click on the green screen option, and import the background video here. Next, in this section, you have to adjust these two sliders for the green screening effect. The settings that worked best for me were adjusting the similarity slider to max and reducing the blend slider to zero. You can then use the preview button, and once you're satisfied with it, click the apply effect button. It will start rendering the video, and then once completed, you can play the video. And then once you're happy with it, you can click the Save Video button up top. Repeat the same process for the second scene video. 
And that's pretty much it. Hope you found this tutorial useful. As you can see, creating this effect is pretty neat and it looks pretty cool. You will find many more EVC 3.0 tutorials on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check in. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by.